This is part 26 of Razor Pages tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to invoke a view component as a tag helper. One way to invoke a view component is by using component.invokeAsync method. To this invokeAsync method, we pass two things, the name of the view component itself without the suffix view component and then an anonymous type. This anonymous type contains the parameters that we want to pass to the view component. The important thing to keep in mind is the properties within this anonymous type must match with the parameter names on the invoke method of our view component. Notice even here the parameter name is department. So this name must match with the property name in the anonymous type. We discussed this technique of invoking view component in our previous video. Another way to invoke a view component is by using this view component tag helper, VC short for view component. To be able to use a view component as a tag helper, we have to first register the assembly that contains the view component. We do this in this underscore view imports dot CSHTML file. As you can see, we use this file to include common namespaces, so we do not have to include them on every razor page or MVC view that needs these namespaces. We also use this file to register built-in tag helpers. For registering tag helpers, we use this directive, add tag helper. We use the same directive to register view components as well, so they can be used as tag helpers. The name of our web project is Razor Pages Tutorial and it is this project that contains our headcount view component. When we build this project, it's going to produce a DLL, an assembly with the same name as this project. So it produces Razor Pages Tutorial dot DLL and with this add helper directive, we use this syntax. We use star, comma and then the name of the assembly, Razor Pages Tutorial that contains the view components that we want to register and this asterisk here specifies we want to register all the view components in this Razor Pages tutorial assembly. With this in place, we can now invoke our view component as a tag helper. We use VC, short for view component, colon, the name of the view component. Our view component name is headcount view component. Notice the word count starts with a capital letter. So in the tag helper, we separate the word that starts with the capital letter with a dash and then replace the capital letter with a lowercase letter. And the same is true even for the parameter names. The parameter name here is department name and the word name again starts with a capital letter. So in the tag helper, it is separated with a dash and the uppercase letter N is replaced with a lowercase n. This is called kebab case. In our project, we are invoking the view component from this details razor page. Notice at the moment we are using component.invokeAsync. Let's comment this and use the tag helper syntax instead. When I open the angle bracket and type vc, we see our headcount view component. We also see the kebab case naming convention is used. When I now press the spacebar, we also see the parameter department. Now, let's change the name of the parameter on the invoke method from department to department name. We also have to change it right here. And then on the details razor page, let's delete this parameter. And then when I press spacebar, we still see the old parameter name department. For the changes to show up in the IntelliSense, let's comment this and build our solution once. Build succeeded. Now let's uncomment this. And then notice when we press the spacebar, we see the new parameter name again in kebab case as expected. The value for this comes from model.employee.department. This view component is invoked from the index razor page as well. So let's copy this tag helper syntax and use it on the index razor page as well. We want all the departments to be displayed. So let's pass a value of null for the department name parameter. With all these changes in place, let's run our project. At the moment, we are on the home page. Let's navigate to the employee list page. Here, we see all the department's headcount. Now let's view a specific employee details on this razor page. We only see the headcount of the department to which this employee belong to, HR in this case. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening.